Hi guys and gals out there, fellow campers. This is Frank with Motorsports Land uh, doing a little walkthrough video on this uh, 2500 front living Winnebago. Um, we do have the uh, <coughs> front of this is going to be, uh, the exterior of this is going to be fiberglass with aluminum cage construction. Um, we like to talk about that because it uh, definitely limits uh, your weight and um, with the outside Asdell board. Asdell is a uh, factory made product that actually has no way of accepting moisture. Um, and that's why we'd like to talk about Asdell with you when you come down and walk through it. But Asdell is a huge deal in the industry. We use them on 95% of our trailers here with anything fiberglass exterior. Um, just want to walk through some of the front things, front features of this trailer right now. We do have the aluminum <coughs> trifold set up on the stairs. They just fold up and tuck right in. We do have your friction hinge doors. Uh, not a lot of people talk about this. They think they need to oil this, but this is on purpose <laughs> from the factory. Um, it really is up to about a 25 mile per hour wind radius, so it's not going to slam the kids' fingers in the in the door. If you're getting anything over 25 miles an hour, you probably want to be inside anyway with the door closed, but just be careful of that. Um, we do have the electric awning, and I just love the fact that it just adds so much more square footage to your camping. You're actually putting a mat out here if you'd like to, white picket fences, flamingo, set it up how you'd like. Um, we've done that in the past. It's a lot of fun for the kids. Uh, but the LED light up underneath here, when this is actually closed, you still have access to those lights. Uh, we see a lot of trailers out there where the LED lights are on the barrel. And uh, this really just means you have to have your awning out at nighttime. Um, while looking at the stars with your, uh, you know, with your light uh, set up. So we like this feature where they're against the wall here. Um, <clears throat> two outside wa weatherproof speakers uh, makes it for interior, exterior audio. So you have two zones of audio here. You can choose to have it stereo bound inside, outside, or choose to have speakers on or off inside and outside, uh, which is nice. Hot water heater, um, front and center right here. Easy access to this. Just a little turn tab. We'd like to walk through this with you. You do have uh, a drainage plug on the bottom, a vent plug on top. We go through and talk to you about the hot water heater. It's a six gallon hot water heater with the uh, direct spark ignition. That's DSI. You probably see that verbiage. Not sure what it is, but that's where we're at with that. Um, <clears throat> three year structure warranty, folks, from the factory. Bumper to bumper structure warranty. Um, you do have your comfort tech package, which is going to be a wrapped underbelly uh, tank pad heater. Um, you do have your explore package, which is the bigger tires, bigger rims, and just uh, you know, elevated up off the ground through the suspension system. So, <clears throat> looking at the other things out here, exhaust. Uh, a lot of people question this, but it is the exhaust for your heater system. So, full. Uh, ventilation heater system floor bound uh, in this unit. Uh, I think it believes a 28,000 BTU uh, heater. We do have your tank water fill, very simple. Put the hose nozzle in there, let that fill up and overflow for your trip before you go. Once it's full, just cap it. You've got a full tank of water on uh, this one here. I believe it's a 37 gallon. Um, if I stand corrected on that, we'll go through the uh, brochure with that with you, but uh, quite a bit of water. We do have two 110 outlets. Running a generator or shoreline power, this is going to power up these outlets with gen or power. So when you are out here, you set a table, you can run a toaster, a coffee pot, a blender, anything along that line. If you do want to set a TV out on a table or actually mount, um, check uh, manufacturer specifications for where to go to into a stud, of course. But you can put a TV mount. You do have a cable system that runs through from the outside. Once again, if you parked um, somewhere where they do have cable or satellite, that's awesome. Um, if they don't, if you have your own satellite system, this is where it's going to feed through from the other side, which we'll, uh, we'll show you that. Back of the refrigerator, this is your ventilation for your fridge. Um, everybody needs that and uh, they do a good job making that nice tight seal around there as well. Um, spray port. You do have a spray port sitting up here for a water spray port. Spray off your kids' uh, feet, your dogs, your wife, your husband, however you guys like to play at the water. Um, this is something I want to talk about as well. This is your Goodyear tires. So we're not going to use the cheap knockoffs or any of these uh, Winnebago product. Um, tires built in the U.S. Uh, they are Goodyear. Your scuff guard and uh, Durawall technology. Um, your speed rating is 87 miles an hour. So that tells you what kind of ply tire it is. I believe it's a 10 ply tire. Really good for you. This is what gets me for here. One year, no excuse guarantees on the tires, folks. <laughs> Putting your name on something like that when you're going camping. So a five year warranty and they are nitro fill tires. So um, yeah, just we could talk more about that when you come in and check these out, but uh, pretty sweet little setup. 
with the tires just alone being a good year. Once again, we got the fold out aluminum steps on the back. That just tucks right up and inside. Um, really easy for travel, uh, easy setup when you're, you're pulling out and setting up your, your camper. Coming back here, I just love this because we'll talk about the um, up front as well, but huge storage back here. I love to get the aluminum studs that show up on the top of this with actual plywood. It's not the cheap particle board um, and it's aluminum construction framing all the way around. A lot of people will talk in the industry, aluminum framed with wood stud build. This is all aluminum studs all the way down, folks. Fully walkable roof, 12 year warranty on the roof on this with the TPO material, which is very durable, solid material. You do have electric stabilizing jacks. On the other side will be the switches. These are gonna be independent stabilizing jacks, which means if you're on tilted ground somewhere, you need to raise one more than the other a little bit and stabilize, um, you could do that independently. Coming around the back side, we do have an access to the roof ladder. 350 pounds, I believe, is what the uh, weight ratio is on the ladder. Get up there, walk around. A lot of people ask why. Um, once a year, it's a good time. I do mine about well, twice a year. Go up and check your seals. Um, sun does a lot of damage to um, anything out there. It's sitting for a duration. So does dust, um, you know, wind blowing the dust up there. It will, um, you know, over the course of time, or if you go through some branches, you're gonna wanna go and check your seals, folks. Just uh, easy um, preventative uh, maintenance on that. Uh, Full-size spare tire, and you do also, just below this, you can see you have a two-inch receiver. Now, that's for a rack system, uh, 350 pounds, as you're looking at for a rack system for bikes, generator, anything along that line. If you are towing anything, just read the manufacturer's warranties on what the weight is on the actual uh, hitch itself. So, 3,500 pounds, you're talking a small single four-wheeler trailer, a small aluminum boat, a couple of canoes. Uh, get anything heavier, that can be beefed up, and we have connections that actually do that for you. So we could help you out with that, folks. Uh, coming around the outside, uh, just a quick note, uh, these are all LED lights throughout the whole coach, guys all inside outside and you do have your uh for your voyager backup camera it's already uh, preset and uh, housed for that on this side here we talked about the two switches independent switches for the actual stabilizing jacks two for the rear two for the front these are slam latch doors people ask why look how thick they are they're not the thin little cardboard and slam latch they do lock up they're really seal tight around the whole rubber seal on, on these um, really a nice little setup magnet hold right there no clips and that's going to be on both sides of your baggage doors coming out to the uh, gray and black water uh, drainage now you can see that it is definitely way above the actual axle of the trailer i like the way they do this built up into the floor that means you've got pocketing of insulation in that floor where all everything's housed um, so you get your valves that you pull this is a wrapped underbelly blade valves up inside the underbelly um, just to keep that from freezing up to a certain temperature um, we just always got to note that that this is not a true four seasons where you can be uh, you know you can be camping in this and you know five degrees i mean there's there's certain temperature variations you're about 22 24 degrees with the heater running um, uh, it just it's going to get a little dicey after that so just be prepared for that now, outside shower here, we'd have a spray port on the other side. Hot and cold outside shower, little handle for the shower. You can pick these up here at our store. Um, we do have a full part store at Motorsports Land in both locations. And you can set this up here, a lot of people do, and set up your shower head up top so you can actually hands-free shower. Um, you do have your city water connection. So you pull up somewhere, you hook up your hose to here, blow it through, you don't have to fill up your tank. This will be your city water, it's pressurized. We, once again, at the store, we do sell regulators. That would be recommended. Um, not everybody's got true pressure uh, for, for their water systems in the parks. Uh, black tank flush, folks, this is huge. Pop this off, anywhere you go dump your dump out. Um, you're hooking up a hose to here. They will have a, a water spigot. Um, anywhere I've dumped so far, have, have had some kind of water spigot, secondary water. Pop it through here, it's pressurized, goes up over your black tank, and it's like a pulser sprayer. So it just sprays all that guck out and just flushes your whole black tank out. Um, you don't want anything left in there, so it just kind of creates a gas in there after a while. Um, you go flush your toilet to clean it, and it's uh, called a trailer fart in the industry, folks, but uh, that actually alleviates all that and a lot of uh, odor. 
So here we have the plug-in. It's a 50 amp service. It is a screw-on ring for the power. So if you have dogs, cats, kids running around here, um, they're not going to yank that wire out. It's going to be pretty stable on there. So we don't have any arc or anything along that line. Um, once again, for your part cable. So if you do have a satellite uh, dish that you actually set up on a tripod on the roof, we wire that in or we can help you wire that in. Or if you had a park, you just simply plug in satellite or your park cable, whatever they offer. And that's gonna go through the coach to the, on the other side, on the inside connections, which we'll, we'll show you. I uh, just wanna state on these tires, we talked about the Goodyear on the other side, but the rims, they are, um, uh, they have bearing buddies. Um, these are gonna be a little plate that pops off the front here. You're gonna have a grease cert right here three or four squirts on that and it's going to grease your your bearings uh, for your tires really nice feature um, anytime i go riding around one of the tricks of uh, camping i always like to feel my rims my hubs of my rim just to make sure they're not smoking hot if they are you know your bangs are going uh, this is something three or four trips you want to pop a few just about two or three squirts of grease in there and and that definitely helps we we do sell the material here that you could use for that so uh, talk to our parts guys when you come in as well um, like the slide on this nice little slide on the inside that really adds a lot of room it is a deep slide you're about a 36 inch slide here i do like the four track systems where you have that kind of um, worm drive set up for the motors to bring these out four tracks keeps that stable keeps that square coming out so you don't have any tweaks left or right uh, but really does a nice job you can put these out a little bit if you're stopping somewhere to make a sandwich. Uh, we do recommend that you always bring it out, kind of preset everything, and then bring it back in square um, on any slide, really, and try to be on flattest ground possible if you ever do bring those out. A little storage pocket in here again. So a little slam latch door. You do have a solar connection right here that will go straight to your batteries so we do have an external solar plug so if you have one you can just plug in right there they have adapters for two different uh, two different hookups a round and an oval which we have here um, nice little drain off you can see these are just to get that water out and away from any points that it can uh, just you know puddle up on top of the slide itself but those little things are just simple little things but they they work for you Fiberglass front cap. We just love this beautiful fiberglass front cap, painted front cap with decals. Um, you do have your your connect uh, your setup here for your rock chips and whatnot, your aluminum, um, you know, guard that uh, really protects quite a bit stuff, debris coming off the road, hits and chips on there. Easy. People have asked me before if they do get a couple of chips and it does, you know, leave some marks through there, chips the paint. Very simple just to get some, some uh, spray paint, touch up there, it's, uh, it holds the paint quite well. It's got a nice uh, rough little finish. Two propane tanks, um, we do fill those for you here at Motorsports Land. And uh, we do have your electric jack here and where that helps with your LED light, if you're hooking up an equalizer hitch or even just a regular hitch on your truck, it just makes life so simple. Um, not No back braking, cranking your shoulder. Uh, we all know how that goes over the years, but uh, so convenient. Um, want to bring you inside and we'll take a look at the inside of this coach. You'll love this floor plan. Well guys, we're inside uh, the 20, uh, 2500 front living. Um, as you can see, it stands for itself for the uh, FL. Now these are recliner chairs, just totally comfy. You do have your little rip cord right here to kick up the recliners, uh, cup holders, your, I call it the snack bin, um, but you do have this just gorgeous, relaxing front living. Um, these chairs are just, I can't tell you until they come in and sit down. They're pretty comfy. Um, going into this, I love how they do these. Uh, access to there, aside from just the top, access through there. So you put your heavy cast irons. I've done this and I do this on my trailer as well. Put all your heavy cast irons down low on the floor. Really makes a good difference and save your drawers. This will drop into a bed, so the dinette drops down. We have two fillers that come into the middle, and you do have a bed. It's about six foot from end to end. Um, looking at the, uh, just around the side over here, you can see the storage, the, anywhere they can put it. That's what I just love about uh, Winnebago. So they do have a nice big pocket storage there. Two 110 outlets. They do have storage underneath both sides, USB and power on both sides. So if you do need to charge your phone, iPad or anything along that line, that's uh, working out well. Um, across from the recliners, you got your 42 inch TV, um, ultralight on a mount. This will come out and swivel. So if you do want to 
watch this from a couple of different angles pull that out you can actually set that up to the booth right there it pulls out another eight inches actually um, but that's a, a nice little tv setup for for viewing um, we do have your sink is going to be a farm sink style nice big sink and folks and i go and i help my wife out we do soak the, the dishes for a bit while we're setting things up outside but nice big sink aside from those two little itty bitty ones i um, like how they do that and then of course the plastic uh, cutting boards on top what i do is flip mine over use that as a cutting surface flip it back over cover up your sink you need this to have some counter room you do have your stove cover three burner stove no oven folks but we do have our storage up underneath where the oven used to be nice big huge storage underneath this but we do have a convection microwave oven um, now it's uh, it works just like an oven we've actually had a chicken about three weeks ago that was made in a convection microwave they will cook really well it's a uh, it's very versatile storage up inside of here for additional um, you know cups and we do have once again storage anywhere they can put it no pocket storage inside we can always find spots for that underneath the sink storage and then getting into the refrigerator you do have the gas electric eight cubic foot refrigerator it is a dometic and a separate freezer up top coming into here so we come into the back bedroom which has its own separate entrance as we've seen outside and i'll just open this one here so you do have a coat closet here um, another pocket three uh, setups right here another three shelves in here and all these drawers i mean just fantastic storage we've had uh, i think they've answered a lot of people's questions about um, adding additional storage uh, open up this door we'll check out the bathroom you got a stand-up shower hold somebody's about six two six three comfortable even up to six five they have the uh, um, skylight up the top of the shower and that's a separate door closed for everything there and we do have a pocket door that uh, we cl to close up the bedroom and i'll get your privacy right there slider on the pocket door saves a lot of room from flipping inside good engineering feat and we do have your queen bed folks so underneath here we have additional storage so extra blankets pillows snacks anything along that line i'm all about the snacks and we do have the two USBs and two power outlets on both sides. Now, a lot of people ask why they'd need that much. The USBs for your phone, iPads, etc. Um, but you're talking about anything down the road, folks, for a CPAP machine or any kind of breathing apparatus or, or anything to do with, uh, you know, um, that you'd need for power. It's just really convenient to already have this put in. We've installed them to a lot of trailers that have you know come in and we do a lot of that work in our service department but uh, having them built from the factory just makes a big difference two additional coat closets once again storage on both drawers on both sides um, guys this is the uh, yeah, Winnebago 2500 front living trailer on our lot we'd love to have you come down and walk through it or any other trailer that you see thanks for visiting Lotus Sportsland.